And she, this girl just touched his clothes and it's as though they dropped off. And he were in bed straight away, so... I seen the skull and crossbone on her arm and it completely did my head in that day, so I went. And the next minute I went through the door and he heard me and he come running out with his trousers on his ankles and like shit in his head. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, see you. <laughs> I was sat in my boxer shorts with my balls hanging out and he commentated on it. He says, excuse me, but you've got something hanging out. So I remember the day very well. Okay, can you feel the pain? I says, only when you stick the needle in. Don't forget that guy's name. I'm not going to repeat it. I know who you are. Max Bygraves. I'll tell you, shit happens every day. The worst thing I ever do is change my name to fucking blues. Well, we've got two flat tyres on the new trailer. Yeah, shot of that. Look at that. That's, that's been a musician for you. He's down to one can a day, though, he yeah. says. <laughs> exactly. It's a big can, but it's still one it's can. For him. No, I'm just really small. It's not... We're going to shift this out. I'll get the back in there. Get it Go, you stupid twat. Go oh, fuck me and get a fucking bus through there, I have. Still cunt. My name is Jake. Pissed off. <laughs>
Sorry, John. Um, <laughs> yeah, Make sure it is a small one because he usually pisses himself and soils himself <laughs> when he's in bed. <laughs> we can't have that. Life on the road, eh? Rock and roll. So, no five star hotels? No, there's none of that. We've I didn't know they went up to five, did you? We even have to pay <laughs> to, we even have to pay for the air that we breathe on here. Yeah. It's, it's by the hour, we have to put the money in the meter. Oh no. Gone. That's terrible. <laughs> what time is it? Quarter to one. Blimey. Lunch. This is his pre pre drink drink. Pre drink drink. <laughs> We should write a book about the ultimate gigging experience food wise. We could do like a chef's book on it. Yeah. <laughs> Pot noodles. Food of the gods. Yeah. Ginsters. <laughs> ah. Various kebabs. Everything seasoned Bristles, with pepper, yeah. everything, mm. even trifle. Just put we keep ginsters in business. They go broke if we didn't. Yeah, they would. <laughs> <laughs> to do a check on the bus because it's an old bus, you know. Couldn't send it, they always pull it over. Went through everything. Uh, went through all the details and, uh, you know, they find out there were a reflector off the back had fell off. <laughs> Little reflector. A, a, a bulb on the dash had fell in, which we got back out. And a, and a side light, that were it. Uh, and then the same to me, says, uh, police with it says you can't drive this bus why is that it says you need a class C I said well your guys come out last year when they pulled us up and said as long as I take the dolly seat out which was down there where you stood I can drive it and if you want detail I said to him, I says I was sat in my boxy shorts with my balls hanging out and he commentated on it he says, excuse me, but you've got something hanging out. So I remember the day very well. Uh, and he told me I could drive this vehicle on the licence I have. You know, it passed my test a long while. So that were it. So I've been driving the bus for about a year now. So they come out with this comment that they're saying, I just, well, can you wait five minutes? And uh, we'll let you know. Well, it got to an hour and a half, nearly two hours. So I had to get a, a, a taxi from Carlisle, well a minibus, to take all the guys, all the band, from Carlisle, off the junction 40, 44 I think it was, on the M6, to Hamilton, got all there, got all the gear set up, I'm sat at the back waiting with me and my little dog Gizzy, sat on the bus, uh, I thought well if I can't drive it, you know, fair enough, but they've not told me yet I can't drive it, so I walked in, they weren't very happy about this, I said I'm not being funny like, but if it takes you two hours to let me know whether I can drive that vehicle, how long does it take you to get to an accident? Well, they, didn't, they weren't happy about that. So they just, you know, they just made me wait. So anyway, I got a guy to come up who's got a, a PSV, coach licence, because he is a coach, and he said, uh, you can't drive it. And time's getting on now. It's like, you know, we're on stage at half past seven. It's 74 <laughs> miles to go, I think it was. So you can't drive it. He says, if you put some more seats back in it, you can drive it. Huh. You know, being a pain in the backside. No, so anyway, I said, forget it. Yeah, so I just got a bottle of red wine, Is opened that. Know, I thought, well, I must have turned into a good day. Had a, had a few glasses of red wine. The lead guitarist who, who bought the other driver up, got his foot down wow. and we went to, and I got there at 10 past seven at Hamilton Town Hall. Nobody knew, what, only the staff told them. And uh, we're on stage at half past as normal. So the show went on as normal. But like, I had to stop then over overnight uh, in the compound. They let me stop in the compound and it was just, it wasn't secure apparently. So they didn't mind me stopping in their compound. So I did that. 
uh, stopped over in the compound. Uh, there were quite a few, Justin, uh, Tara, uh, Igizzy. I think they're only us. Uh, so we had a few drinks, watched a bit of TV. Uh, and then uh, I thought, right, I'll get my own back. So uh, I went to the toilet, had a dump in a plastic bag, and stuck it under the step. So they'll, they'll smell it for a few weeks. It's rock and roll, innit? I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'll have a cigar. <laughs> Plus a red wine with this, but unfortunately, you're not allowed to drink and drive. But in our show, I do a number called Shotgun Blues. And you're just getting into character. I learned to smoke just for this song. I never smoked in my life. I ate it, don't like it. And it's a cigar. Uh, but I thought, you know, look good. Uh, and uh, Aberdeen Musical, not realising there's people from the council in there. And I nearly got fined £2,000 having a cigarette on stage so I thought well I didn't realize that you know and it's in the paper as well Englishman smoking cigarette unlike Scottish theatre uh, so the next gig was in uh, Edinburgh Edinburgh festival that's it, the one we're doing on Saturday there and I told the lady what had gone up and she said to me lovely lady front of house manager she said look you put this, let me know when you're going to do it, put the cigarette in and I'll come and stop you. Uh, I said, okay then, so I told her the set, what the number and all that. She forgot. So, I'm on stage with a cigarette like this, do it ready for shotgun blues. I thought, bollocks to this then, she's not going to stop me. So I lit the cigarette and I just said to the people, I said, ladies and gentlemen, I realise you can't smoke out there, but I want to have this one just for you. So I got into trouble again. I do things on the spot sometimes, you know what I mean? The kilts. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you remind me about that, yeah. But I thought, I've got to get a kilt. I thought, it'd be great if I do a nice part with them. And let me show what's really under the kilt. Doing a cartwheel with no pants on. <laughs> It's got to be done, hasn't it? You love the controversy. Yeah. I like the surprise. <laughs> well, can you get done for that? We'll soon find out. <laughs> Sing and die by the way you do. Time Papa gonna poison you Sprinkle with dust all around your bed Why you the day find your own self dead She said, she said, yeah I said, well what did I say to make you mad this time, babe? She says, mm -hmm. I don't know My oh my oh my I said, I I love, she got dimble in her jaw Close to wig made out of vesta cloud She can take him and wash him, put him up inside the wall She can throw him in a piggy, love it, fart and foul Sometime I think you got your habits on She said you shouldn't see that I said, woman, 
woman? Well, what did I say to piss you off this time, babe? Well, we drove into Cheltenham and it just seemed to start feeling a little bit funny. Um, drove in here, I jumped out of the van and we had two flat tyres. That's it, but we're here so we can get started anyway. We've got two days until we have to sort it out. <laughs> the trip to Edinburgh. Let's not talk about that just yet. Not looking forward to that. <laughs> Shit happens every day. Well, that's the worst thing I ever do is change my name to fucking blues. Let's have a look. Oh, you're choking. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I would have been driving it. Hey? I've been driving. I can't drive. I know that. Yeah, shot of that. Look at that. That's that's been a musician for you. He's known to one can a day, though. He yeah. says. <laughs> exactly. It's a big can, but it's still one it's can. Awesome for him. No, I'm just really small. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that much us, does it? Just gone there. Must have happened just recently because we've been doing well. It was only, we came around on the corner. Did you know? It yeah. only, only just now started. But Hawaii out ones and not that one's gone. Oh, we're two, just this side. Yeah, yeah, the other side's fine. See these? Fucking A. It's been a great drive down. And that literally. Driving, is, yeah. yeah, it was great. Literally, probably about 200 yards ago. It started sounding a bit funny. Luckily, we've got two spears. Yeah, we're saying so. Once that's off, I'll. Uh, yeah, and then we'll get, yeah. get in there and do it. And what we'll do there, we'll back this all. Temperatures rising and my feet's on the floor Twenty people rocking and I wanna go more Come on here baby, I don't know what you got But you better take it easy, this place is hot So glad you made it So glad you made it till you got out Give me some love and give me some love Give me some love and You have to do everything, drive everything. Also, you could just be fucking cheap. Two flat tyres on the new trailer, on the same side. Thank God there's three tyres on there, so I've got to change that when we get back. And we can't leave the vehicle here, the bus has got to be parked somewhere else. So like, I've got to go find somewhere to park this monstrosity. And then uh, that's where we're sleeping tonight, wherever I lay my bus. We don't take drugs at all in this band. Just cans of Red Bull. Giving us lots of caffeine. We can't afford them. We can't afford them. Fucking damn right. <laughs> How am I getting out of here now? I should have gone that way. 
You can't get this way, can you? Um, I don't know. I don't think you can, can you? Oh, is it normal road? Yeah. It's a dead end. It is. So I've got to spin round again. Go, you stupid twat! Go fuck me and get a fucking bus through there, I have! Still cunt. Go on, you're oh, fucking great, you stupid twat! I'm reversing, the twat goes right behind me! Where you going, you bomb, you old fucker? Sorry about the language. <laughs> Tell us about the, the, the Dick Dunn and the Steve Cropper meetings on the road. Oh yeah, well we're at Steve Cropper. We're good. Imagine. Oh, unbelievable. Top man. When, you, when you're with him, you got a fantastic photograph of him, didn't you? You and him. He probably wrote about half of our set. We're at the midnight mm. hour, knock on wood, knock yeah. on bay, 634, yeah. green onions. And without <laughs> them, a few and without them, the Blues Brothers wouldn't have been noted anyway. No, without sure the, you know, without no. the band. Mm. I mean, duck done. Yeah, imagine. Mm. Well, I, well, we did, I went to uh, Ronnie Scott's. They were there for three days, I went to Ronnie Scott's, and Lou Marini got me on stage with them. I did. I did Everybody Needs Some Audience and Solomon with uh, Eddie Floyd. That was a good laugh. But, uh, it's things like that what keep you going in business, just you know, meeting your heroes and enjoying, but we, we don't make any money at it. You know. There are loads of lot of money at it. But, you know, we enjoy what we do. Oh, yeah. So this is your relaxing before the, uh, before the gig now? You've had all the hassle, hopefully. No, we haven't had all the hassle. <laughs> it's just beginning. It'll start. It'll kick off again. So it'll kick off. Always does. Always does. But you know, when we're on stage and we get into it, we're alright, aren't we? Mm. We have a good time. <sighs> How old are you now, Jake? 58. Mm -hmm. I feel 68. <laughs> no, 88. But how long are you going to carry this on? Because it's not well, easy on the road, is it? No, it's not easy. I've been thinking of doing a tribute to B.B. King and uh, I'm going to book in for a year's sunbed <laughs> and uh, and black up and do a B.B. King tribute, but I can't play guitar. And we don't take drugs. We are not a drug addict man. thought about it, but this is the only drug that we like. A nice glass of red and a big fat cubic cigar. And we're at home, aren't we? Can't ask for more than that, really. Well, we could do a nice big log fire. <laughs> what about keeping fit? Do you uh, do training and. I'm the fattest, fittest person in the village. Believe it or not. <laughs> well, you did go down to the gym last year, I remember you were saying. Yeah, got, I've changed gyms because this one's got a lot, of be a lot better restaurant. You got cracking for breakfast. <laughs> They have. <laughs> You've got a bar as well. And have a nice glass of red. That's nice. So I have a good breakfast, glass of red before I go in. Wake it all off and then have it when I come back out. And they got a swimming pool. So it's all good there about what? At least four or five times a year. So how many Elwoods have you actually had uh, on stage with you? Ooh, I've had quite a few, quite a few. The one particular one, I used to do this number called Who's Making Love to Your Old Lady? And what he didn't know about, I was shagging his missus. <laughs> and I used to look and I said, who's me? And I used to go like this. He didn't know. Hey, look, if women so want a little fat man to make love to and cuddle and look after, I'm available. I'm not now. I'm 58, I've had enough, been there, got the t-shirt, got the back door, got the front door, got the keys. Here's one though, with the one, 
Elwood. I can't mention his name because he'll know who it is anyway. And uh, he was still married, and I was still married. And we're doing this gig, uh, the North East. And there we were, and this girl, stunning beer, come up to us and said, uh, can you give me a lift to Redcar? I said, well, we are something that road, we are being nice, yeah. But I said to El Mark, he was Mark. I've had one or two Marks, by the way. I said to him, I said, uh, <laughs> Could be any of them. Could be any of them, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I said to him, I said, look, this is a pain of me, she's fucking stunning. You never know, someone might develop. So uh, we took and we got to this nightclub, got to the nightclub, and uh, she said, look, do you mind picking me up later? I said, no, no, we're going back to the digs now, we'll stop at spending more farm. Uh, I said, so if you're not coming now, we're, we're going. She said, okay, then you're going. She said, would you drop me off at home? I said, yeah. So we dropped off at home in Middlesbrough. And then she said, do you want to come in for a cup of tea? I said, well, yeah, no problem. So we walked in for a cup of tea. Anyway, she said to him, without me knowing, she said to him, she says, do you want to stop the night with us? And he said, no, because he's a bit, a bit very green and timid like that. I said, no. I says, uh, and then she came to me. And uh, she said, do you want to stop night here for me? I said, not unless my mate can as well. So we both stopped. Well, out of that stairs, that fast, were unbelievable. So I would just stood downstairs anyway. So I'm in bed with her anyway. And we, you know, canoodling and kissing and cuddling and things like this. And we, you know what it is. Just being bonding, really, you know, bonding with the opposite sex. It's quite nice. So anyway, who stood at the foot of the bed is Elwood, dressed. And I mean, dressed, and you'd think it were him, like Eric Morkel, with his coat, scarf, and flat cap on. He'd not got the glasses, bless him. And he, I, he kept panicking, he said, come on, let's go, come on, let's go, he, he, so much going to go off here. I said, look, I'm not going from here until either I've had, I've, I've had what I want, either from here or a man will fast asleep next door, and she was 65, or I'm having a man. So, he says, and she, this girl just touched his clothes, and it's as though they dropped off, and he were in bed straight away, so... I seen the skull and crossbone on her arm and it completely did my head in that day, so I went. And the next minute I went through the door and he heard me and he come running out with his trousers on his ankles and like shitting his head anyway. Let's hope there's no more shit today. Where are we now? Two. Oh for fuck's sake. Alright, see ya. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm okay. Pressing on one here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, be well, be welcome, Taylor, back away. Giz. Where's my little baby? Come on, then. Oh, look what Daddy's got. Where you been? Where you been? Look at this bit of cake for my little baby. The best mate I've ever had. And you want some more like a little fruit cake? Oh, sit down, sit, sit, sit. Good boy. That's it. Give me Paul. 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 Thank you. So, how long have you had him? Ten months. I used to have a shit suit before. I love them. I love Shih Tzu's. And the Lapratzel, the same breed, basically, I think. Tibetan. 
but the you, the dogs you have to be with them all the time. They like babies, friends, and I shouldn't really be feeding him this, but I find it difficult to refuse him. I book a massage because they did the massages in 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 house. So I thought I book a massage. So I book the massage for eleven o'clock on the Saturday of the gig. And uh, the phone rang in the hotel room. Uh, off, uh, the reception said, uh, "Mr. Blues, uh, Mr. Blues, your massage lady is here, but there is no sex." I says, "I didn't book the sex. I booked the massage. You can have the sex." He said, "No, no, I don't want the sex." There's no sex for you. I said, I never booked the sex, so you can have it. It's not a problem. If you want the sex, you can have the sex. Well, a bit like Lauren and Audrey. No, 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 you don't understand. I said, it's okay. I don't want the sex. You can have it. Send the lady up. Good massage, though. Fantastic. Unbelievable. So it was good. So we, we had a good, good. Then the next thing, what happened? You get a certain age, and you do certain things through life that you think, well, why did I do it? But I did it. Uh, on the f Friday night of the festival, 30,000 people, uh, I walked around the big festival, all the bikers, big bike festival, and uh, same say we were supporting Gary Moore. We did it two years before, supporting Deep Purple, and because the show went well, they booked us back, and we're the, we're the only band tribute is you know as they say I don't like to think is that but we are uh, booked us back to do a second performance because we got as Jake and Elwood the blues with us and uh, so I'm walking around the big arena festival you know all the these tattooists and these shops you know it's a big festival massive festival and I met these two guys uh, which was the Portuguese Hells Angels and they remembered me from last time because I had a drink with them. I said, Jake, you come here. You need this. I said, OK, put it on. And I went into this dirty old caravan. And a, a coffin was out, out the front. And out the middle of the coffin was a 12-inch penis sticking up out this coffin, I thought. Very nice. Uh, so anyway, I went to a tattoo and had it. I let him put a tattoo on my back. I didn't realise how long I'd be there. And I'd, ne I'd not had a drink at all. No drink, you know. Not even touched a drop. I walked in the tattooist at half past eleven at night and I walked out at quarter to six in the morning. Five and a half hours, roughly. A tattoo on my back. I apparently you have to have three. And my mate says, you've got that for life now. I said, well, I don't know, I can't even see it. And they put the logo of the uh, the bike festival, uh, Moto Photo Club, which I will show you when Gizmo gets off my arm. You know what I mean? And this is what they tattooed on my bike. $300. Sorry, euros. Not many people have seen it. Well, I don't think I've seen it yet. I've only seen somebody took a picture of it. And it says, lift to the right to live or lift to the right. That's what they put on. He said to me, he says, Jake, can you feel the pain? I says, only when you stick the needle in. <laughs> uh, that's the one I had put on. And that's me and I would. And that's the one I had in Los Angeles at the House of Blues, Dan Aykroyd's place. Help ever, hate never. So, yeah, I never thought I'd have had any tattoos on. I don't know why I did, really, but I did. Just memories of the occasion. Cider, would you like cider? And he has to have this for medication. Though it's not real vodka. Which medication, more than anything. It helps, him get, it helps him get through the fucking evening. Clean your bike with that. Anyway, I'll just put on video about uh, who's making love to your old lady. You know, the old one. Yeah. Was it your... No, because you're old as well, isn't it? No, no, no it wasn't, no, it wasn't no. me. <laughs>
yeah, yeah, yeah. I will complain because it doesn't fit. You see. Yeah, I want to change the wheels. Rock and roll. I'm going to walk to it. Is it? Oh, walk then. Where is it? Upstairs. Well, we'll find a loser for tonight. Don't shoot to one. Hey! Don't want you back to the bus. Well, that's even better. We've got a lot of stuff you can see that there. No, these um, these were actually old, um, you know, the NASCAR races, and we had them we had them bought in just the fiberglass shells and everything. Of course, they weren't painted in the Chicago police colours, and they sprayed them up. And uh, when the wheels and tyres and everything are on, they look really good. The lights work on them as well. That's supposed to be relaxing. Now I'm working. See, so you know what? I've got two flat tyres, but everybody's fucked up. Jake's here. He can do everything. You right, mate? You should feel good, mate. Showbiz with me. It's only because I can't get a fucking proper job. I'm doing this, and this is that loan now. Oh, for fuck's sake! Can't even get the jack under the bastard. Oh, look at that fucker! Oh, it just goes in between. Ah, oh, you're not going to believe this. I've got God on my side. I'm just turning these bastard nuts up. Two wheels on my wagon, and I'm still rolling along. Hey. Job done, you see? I wish we could take this off. It's by new lock. You can drive that back home now. Back to the engineering days of Herbert Cottrell's at Pinkston. You've been here a couple of hours, Jake, and uh, still not unpacked. Look at that. Yeah, I've still got my shit here. <laughs> now, is that it now? You can relax before the game? Yeah, we can relax now. Here he is, lots of security blokes here now. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to give me a ticket. <laughs> this might be awesome.
Okay. What a great thing to start a song off. Just to just to do a song really. One of the Christmas ones. Lloyd. Lloyd. We're just having a guitar player. Yeah, we're all sound checks, we're just waiting for, for a song. They're gonna get good seats, aren't they? Bloody hell. <laughs> Come on, they're <laughs> cracking seats, they are. Yeah. See <laughs> two. Yeah. <laughs> Got the incontinent society in tonight. When the snow man brings the snow, well he just might like to know. He put a great big smile on somebody's face. Like that. Should we do a proper sound check then? Right. Hello, where are you? Where are you? Are you? Son. <laughs> JP. Where are you? Wrong number. Where are you? Oh! Edinburgh. That's not so sad anymore. Hey. You keep breaking up, look. Where are you? You're on M5. Oh, uh, what, 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 tell me, what is your arrival time? Yeah. Ten past seven. Well, we don't start with quarter eight, so you got loads of time, ain't you, really? Can we do something we all know then? <laughs> hey. All right. Look, see you later. Drive careful. Just the last chorus. It's the lead guitarist. He just finished work. He's on the M5. It'll be at ten past seven. Bless his socks. Jean Paul. Yeah. I've got more notes than I think I have. Snow is falling all around me. Children playing, having fun. Tis the season, love and understanding. Merry Christmas, everyone. People singing all night long Time for presents and exchanging What a nice way to spend the year Underneath 
sweet. Big pill, keep on turning. Oh, Mary, keep on turning. And we're rolling, 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 rolling on the river. I tell you, we're rolling, 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 rolling on the river. We're rolling. <laughs> Well, I've always been managed to sound like James Brown naturally, and uh, the, the, it just sort of evolved, and I got more and more into it. And, and like you said, bec because I've got a niche, there's only me doing it. Uh, it sort of took off from there, really. I sort of do like, like next week, do a Caribbean cruise. The week after, I go to the Lebanon, um, Jordan. Uh, just, it's just been fantastic, you know, because it's a worldwide person. And if there's only one person doing it, they're going to fly me about to, to do it. So, but I love. This, you know, working with the Blues Brothers is fantastic. How, how difficult was was getting the moves and the mannerisms of James Brown? Hard, that was the hardest thing I've ever done. Because when I look at old footage when he was a young guy, I'm nowhere near. You know, but older, when was, the older James Brown was a lot easier to copy. But as a young guy, he was just like the guy who set Prince, you know, Michael Jackson. He just set the benchmark. It's unbelievable. So the, the, the moves is by far the hardest thing to do for me. What was this morning? What do you want to drink? You want to drink water? Want to drink water? Anyway then. Drink. Keep that beer. Uh, nice, I think three quid a bottle. Need petrol card and that. That's all. Maggie, I ain't keys, yeah. Oh. It's only shiraz. Somebody gave it me, so. Well, that's a I don't usually have a drink before I go on. I'll keep it right. I've put my hats up here. Because he. He set three of my hats. You stay there, baby. I think I've got everything. Stay there. Look how I stay there, look. It's brilliant. See you later, baby. No, no, I just want to get on there and do it, you know. Never really had nerves. I used to be nervous when it was spelling test at school because I can't spell. 
even on the... I've left me other fags and me other suits. Go well, check. Great. I haven't got any fags. We're going on now, aren't we? No. Nobody got one to lend you? Off. No, I don't think so. Why well, have you asked anybody? Nobody smokes, do they, here? John Paul does. I always forget his fags. No. Just ain't got any. If they start now and I go up, I won't get down. It's hard. Oh, you will. I'll start here again. Yeah. All right. John, just so you know, this is Yeah, 
The verdict? What can you say? A few cock ups, a few mistakes. No whip. Things like that I don't like, you see. Little bits. Then I said about the whip. I said they were whipped down there, they were broken. So well, if you told me, I could repair it. Or at least I know they want one there. I want to do the bit. Well, if I said I enjoyed it, I'd tell a lie. But shit, I thought.
shit, I'm back on the goddamn motherfucking mood again Well I tried to resist it but my management insisted so here I am again Well I brung my tunes and I brung my band So the least you can give me is a big fucking hand And the rain doesn't do it, the shit's better do it I'm back on the road again I can't help cussing cause I smell disgusting cause I'm back on the road again